I, I think the I think the fundamentally most important thing is trust that you are working like with someone that you trust. And, um, you know, I, I can't harp on this enough. If you have hesitation or questions or, or things like that, you should definitely be bringing those up. You should be in a relationship with someone if, if they're on your team or if they're an external partner you have to fundamentally be able to trust each other. And that is just, I would say that is the keystone of any type of project, but it's really, really important. And I think that if you find yourself holding back or not communicating things because you're concerned or you're scared or you're questioning them, these are, these are big red flags. And if you feel that way in a project, you have to address it. You really have to address those things. Otherwise, I would say fundamentally the project is doomed. So that's that's the first one for me. What about you, Albert? Okay, I like that you said the word trust, and I know we didn't rehearse this. So, <laughs> but I like the word trust because it starts with the letter T, and I'm gonna add two more words here with the letter mm. T, but I think are equally, you know, they will equally important. So the first one is transparency. Well, actually, yeah. let me. Okay, that's not the first one, but I already said the second one. That's transparency. But maybe the first one I really wanted to say, and my brain jumped uh, a couple of neurons there. Um, <laughs> the first one I wanted to say was actually talent, right? It's hard mm, to trust yeah. when the person that you have in your team does not have the talent, right? Like you have to know that this person has the talent to be able to deliver um, yes. whatever they're asked or tasked to deliver. Yeah. And then coupled with transparency, mm-hmm. right? The communication lines are open. So you have... Talent and transparency, I think that naturally leads to trust. Right? Yeah. So I'm I would gonna agree. add there transparency and talent. Do you have another yeah. one? You know, I think if I think about software development projects as a whole, another huge thing that comes up is related to transparency, but it's visibility and business value. Now, we've all been either part of or involved with or suffered from the famous, like, you know, you give the task or the project to the developer, you don't hear from them for months, and then suddenly they emerge from their basement where they have been coding. And you can tell they've been coding because they they have not showered in about three months. Um, Their hair is frazzled slightly like this. You know, it's just... Um, they have wounds on their on their eyes and their their eyes are bloodshot and they just reek of coffee because they've been inhaling it. Now, you then suddenly see the product for the first time and it is nothing like what you wanted. And I think that this is so fundamentally important because you have to have visibility on the project and the product very early and very often. And that then leads to you being able to communicate the business value. Because one thing that I feel a lot of projects overlook is the business value assumptions that you as a business owner or project manager or someone sort of on the business side of things, you assume that the technical team fully understands that, that they understand how your business works and operates. Now, the best interactions, you, the best interactions in software development come when the team of talented individuals, as Albert said, can collaborate on the business value and enhance the technology to help the business unlock more value right? Like that is the goal. And the best way that I've found in our experience to do that is to just increase that level of visibility and interaction with the team 